oh shit why is he doing the review a week late use your common sense he's super broke so he had to put in doubles at the job to make sure he could pay rent fucking feed himself and all the other shit I just want y'all to use your common sense. Okay, recovering from the scars of the tragedy one step at a time. What tragedy? Oh, yeah, the boy got almost got knocked off, Dominic. You can do it, Dominic. Go, Dominic. He walking the shit, motherfucker, walking and talking. Okay, you got this. Yeah, great. Great, but that's enough for now. Don't push yourself, please. These are serious wounds. How's Chris? Still unconscious. It's been a while. It's about time he should be waking up. Zach up there talking like like he mad. Like, oh man, he should, this motherfucker should, strip, should be up by now. He's soft. He's soft. That's what he looks like he's saying. Like, he looks like mad. Like, you should be recovered by now. What the fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? So Ray and Emma, they there with him. He's in the hospital, like, fighting for, fighting for his fucking life. They killing him with this shit, man. They killing him with that shit. He fighting for his fucking life. All right. He looks good. His pulse and breathing are back to normal. Vincent said there's no brain damage or anything either. It will be all right. He'll wake up soon. So what the hell is he? What is he in a coma? If I got a comb over, what the fuck is going on? I'm worried. Of, I'm more worried about Norman. It's been one more day and he still hasn't come back. I want to have that talk as soon as possible to tell it all to Norman. I want to tell Norman that we should let the demons kill us. Why? Because it'll be super fun. I've been thinking. A, I've been thinking a lot after that. She said, I want to tell Norman that I'm an idiot. <laughs> That's basically what you want to tell him. Barbara, Cicero, Vincent, I'm glad we can meet them. They're all good people and we had a lot of fun, but death is too good for them. She's, she's having a flashback. I can't wait. I want to kill them all. Like the look on their face was like they just came. Like it was like, uh, uh, you know what I mean? I didn't want to think about it too much. It's getting, getting them too hard. Okay. Yes, it's kind of sick. But what do you expect after going through what they after what, going through what they went through in their in their crazy past? You know what I mean? What you what you expect when the topic came up? They all behaved in the same way. So much hatred. What did they What did they do to you? Okay, so you know. They did something to him. Of course, in Goldie Pond, Oliver's group hated the demons too. Yup, they celebrated when they heard about killing demons. They're like, yay! The little kids are like, oh my god. It's better than watching fucking Disney. It's better than Nick Tunes. That's what they said when they, when they heard about killing demons. When I kill him, a weight goes off my chest. He said, every time I kill him, it just, it's like cutting, just, uh, you know, you get that little relief. But this is pure endless hatred. I've never seen anything like this. Yeah, because you lived sheltered all your life. It was fake shelter, but you lived sheltered. Um, she said it's pure endless hatred. I doubt they would hate the demons like that if they wiped them all out. You get what I'm saying? They would still not like the demons, but if they wiped out all the demons, is they'll be pretty much normal at that point. What? What they gonna just turn it turn turn on people? What? Like, I don't get that. After that, it should be over. It scares me. I wasn't I wasn't feeling compassion for the demons. I was terrified of the intensity of the hatred. That I saw right there. But. Cicero said they're all the same. But what about Musica? She left out Sung Ju. Sung Ju is just like them. And those demon children. I can't imagine. That they understand what's going on. She's right about that. 
they still eating humans, but they that the demons, most of them demons don't hate humans at all. They're just surviving. And the humans that didn't get fucked with by the demons don't hate demons either. They're just going to kill them in order to survive. To say they're all the same, it doesn't make sense. Use your common sense. It it makes no sense. Why why would they hold all these demons? <laughs> it, oh, I'm just going to be a monster. And I'm... <laughs> I'm just going to be a monster. Yeah, but those caught in this won't care about that. After they went through so much pain, it's no use to tell them they had that this hatred uh, is bad. Once that much anger is there, it can't be stopped. It swells up. It's the cycle of hatred. There's nothing we can do about it. I guess this is what it means to be at war. She says, I guess since Gucci dropped that black face sweater, we have to go to war. And she's right. When Gucci dropped that fucking black face sweater, it was war on Gucci. It had to be. You can't keep supporting some damn uh, company that don't give a fuck about you. You know what I mean? It can be out of fear of the... Of the other or poverty, political ambition, misunderstandings, what sparks it doesn't matter very much. What sparks it doesn't matter very much. If they can afford to uh, feel compassion for the others, it would be hard to go on killing them. But if the cycle of hatred gets started, the war um, can't be stopped. They kill one another the uh they they grudge the uh deaths they kill again that's how we humans end up fighting one another ourselves again and again for thousands of years yeah because what that happened is you got two groups one kills somebody from the other group and that group is like i got to get revenge and they can't let it go they can't let it go. so they go and get the other one and guess what once that person gets killed they're like i don't give a fuck why why you killed them? I know we did wrong, but I'm going to avenge them. I don't care. And they go back and forth. They it, it's, it's going to take one of the groups to say, hey, I at least one to say, hey, I know you killed my entire family, but I'm going to just end it just to make sure. Even though I'm still mad at you for killing my entire family, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a go ahead and just leave it alone because if I go after you, then somebody else is going to get killed. I just want to stop it right there. So there's nothing we could do. But but I I want... It's the boss. Norm is back. He's like, yay, I'm about to get these, dem these demons knocked off. Like, if you look at his face, he's like, yo, yo, these demons don't even know what's getting ready to happen. They're getting ready to get knocked off. I swear to God, I'm going to knock them off. That's how he look. Hey, everybody, the boss is back. Welcome home, boss. Let's go. Let's go tell Norman. Let's leave these demons alive so they can kill us. Okay, how was the alliance? It's done. No issues. Then we we move to the next step. Here comes Cicero. Oh, shit. Yo, Emma and Ray getting ready to roll up on Norman, right? Cicero and, um... Damn, what's the girl name? Um, what's the girl name? Um, Rebecca or Barbara? I think it's Barbara. Is it? Ba yeah, Barbara. That's her name, Barbara. Yeah, so he gonna they gonna run up on him, and they gonna run up on him, right? And Cicero and Barbara are gonna be like, "Oh shit, here come the bullshit." Yup. See, look, Emma, Ray. We need to talk, Norman. Get your ass over here, Norman. We got to tell you how we about to kill everybody. Sorry for grabbing you when you've uh, barely returned. It's all right. What's the matter? There are there are many things like uh, 
uh, we'd like to discuss with you. But first, I want to know, what is this plan of yours? How do you intend to destroy the demons without losing anyone? It is it an insurrection? Ray already knew that. Cause you heard from before when they said that they would take that the, the demons was getting ready to go at it already. It was Crips versus Bloods already. BDs versus GDs already. That was already going down. Because the other ones, um, the um what's it, the uh the po folk was getting ready to get at the rich folk because they wouldn't let them eat right. They was fucking up their diet. Okay, correct. I like talking to you because you get it so fast, Ray. Norm was like, my nigga. He said, you own it. He said, I ain't got to explain shit to you. Okay, what insurrection? L look at Emma. Like, Ray's like, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, he he's kind of in between where he's like, damn. I'm stuck between Emma and Ray. I mean, between Emma and Norman. I kind of agree with Norman, though. You know what I mean? And Emma's like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, she's just like in complete and utter shock. You'll provoke unrest between them. Okay? Make them destroy themselves demon against demon. So the pawns you went to meet were demons, right? We just made an alliance. Their society. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. This society isn't monolithic. There's a king, a nobility, commoners, and those below that. It's quite a rigid caste system. That sounds just like humans. They're based off humans, so it makes sense. Look, Lewis and um, uh, Bayon was nobles. Okay, that made sense. Okay, let me... All right, you got one king. This motherfucker just got everything. Then you got the nobles. There's a few of them. Not a whole lot. Then you got a lot of commoners. Just common demons. They seem to be the ones that get the lesser grade human. You know what I mean? But then you got even less than that, too. You got the commoners that just, they just get whatever they can get. You know what I mean? They don't seem like they're struggling too bad, but they, they're not doing good either. They don't have all that, you know, uh, those luxurious homes and shit like that. Them motherfuckers was kind of living in tents almost a little bit. You know what I mean? Like run-down cities. Not too bad enough where you could live, enough where they got kids and stuff like they raising kids and stuff like that. It ain't all that bad. Um, then you got the lesser demons, right? And there go the wild demons. I guarantee you the ones that's getting ready to rise up against the fucking uh, nobles are in between the commons. They're like close to lesser, but not lesser demons. They're not the wild demons, but they're not doing as good as the regular villagers either. Okay. In particular, the royal family and the five regent lines. Regent. The fuck are you talking about? Okay. Five noble families... Who have exclusive right to succeed the royals. Okay. So they're at the top of the royals. So there are five noble families. Like the five uh, uh, fingers in New York. Which is the uh, mafias. They got five families. Okay. So there are five noble families. Join forces with the Ratry clan. The one who built Lambda. Correct. Okay. The royal family and the regent. Com the regents. Command and manage all the plantations. Controlling the supply of human meat. Exactly. The royals control who gets what. Meaning they get the best stuff. They get the stuff when they want to. And the, the rest of it. Like the, the, the bullshit. They get that to everybody else. They rule. The balance of the entire demon society. Boasting tremendous wealth and privilege. Exactly, exactly. They go Lord Bayon right there. Then there are demons who are quite dissatisfied at the ever-growing inequality. So it's getting even worse. Sounds like America. 
between them and the nobles, they getting even worse. So they started off not doing that good, but doing okay. And now it's getting even worse to the point where some of the motherfuckers barely making it. Barely making it. We will use those for starters. What does that mean concretely? Uh, what is this alliance about? There's a clan of fallen nobles called the Gillen. Okay, they used to be nobles. And now they live in worse commoners. Okay, they want some fucking pro they, 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 they got a problem. Which of the fucking oh the, the rest of the nobles got the issue they got an issue. Okay. Through What the fuck is that? Machinations? No, hold on, I gotta look up this word. I've never even seen it before. Okay. How you pronounce it? Make. What's it? Make it. Make it. Make a nation? I don't know the. Okay. A plot or scheme. Synonyms. Plotting. Plots, in uh, intrigues, conspiracies, design, plans, devices, ploys, ruses, tricks, wi uh, wileys, uh, stratagems, uh, uh, tactics, maneuvers, um, maneuvering, um, contravance, uh, ex ex expedients. Rare comp rare complot rare complots. I don't know. I never heard of complots. He was cheated by the political uh, machination of the uh, legis legislature. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so basically they tricked him. All right. They were blamed for the fictitious crime for a fictitious tr crime and lost their good name and privilege. Guarantee you, if they were still at the top, they wouldn't even have a problem with the with the caste system. They're like, okay, cool, as long as we doing good. One could call it exile, punishment for not uh, punishment to not eat human meat. Their bodies would degenerate. Their history says they regressed back to wild demons, and the clan fell. But actually, they didn't even go back to wild. They went into hiding, waiting for an opportunity for revenge for seven hundred years. Oh, man, they've been plotting. Oh, man, 700 years. They can't wait to kill a motherfucker. These motherfuckers is militant. They stole what they could from the plantations from the streets. And Okay, so they was getting it out the streets. These motherfuckers got it out the mud. These are street. Um, They used to be nobles, but they street niggas now. And managed to survive. Just barely keeping hold of a humanoid shape and, and intelligence. They barely making it. It's amazing that you found them out. So there are demons like that. Demons like what? Demons like dem they were they was killing they still eating humans. What are you talking about? Demons like what? Demons with humans. Is it really alright to work with them? What the fuck? Is she saying there's demons that um Like, I'm trying to figure out what the fuck she talking about. There's demons like that. Demons that degenerated but didn't go uh, all the way back to um, uh, to uh, wild beasts. Is that what she's saying? Because they still eat humans. They stole what they could from planting. Exactly. I, so what she's saying makes no sense. It will be fine. Of course, the risks are quite considerable. I'm sure they're plotting to eat us as soon as we are... Of no further use. But that goes both ways. He said, as soon as there's no use, I'm coming for that ass. We are looking to get them to kill one another. So it was this uh, kind of bet from the start. It's all right. 
They won't move on us before seeing the revenge come true. He said, getting the revenge is more important than, just, than eating food or drinking water. they revenge warriors. <laughs> they have been nurturing a strong desire for um, this revenge for a long time. And there's another reason that prevents them from acting before that. Another reason. The hell is that? The, he knows that they know that he's not really uh, Magellan. I mean Minerva. I said Magellan. If this goes well, not a single cattle child has to die. A strategy like this is hundreds of times more advantageous than trying to battle the demons head on. Makes sense. And I will never lose a battle of wits. Oh, man. He got cocky. He got cocky. He said, nigga, when it come to my brain, it's just on another level. Y'all niggas slow to me. He said, y'all niggas slow to me. What about Isabella? He finally beat her. But before that, he had a problem. He said, y'all niggas slow. To me, everybody look like they slow. He said, I feel like I'm on the planet with a bunch of kids. He said, I'm the only grown up around here. He said, I guess it in. <laughs> oh, man. I like that part. Because he hardly ever says anything cocky or anything like that. Um, do I want him to be a cocky bastard? No. But uh, doing every so often just to let people know, yo, I ain't to be fucked with. That's cool. I'm not saying this is this out of arrogance. That's what I'm saying. Or overconfidence. But determination. Okay, so he's trying to psych, uh, psych himself up. I'll do whatever it takes to secure victory without uh, spilling human blood. So he's doing uh, the Emma. He's trying to do it the Emma way. I get it. Sparking a civil war between demons will only be beneficial to us. Right. If the royals and the nobles control everything in this society, then if they fall, the whole system falls along with them. Me, oh, I just thought about this. Being that she said that, I was thinking, what about the commoners? You understand? Because it's more of them than anything. But if you get the lesser, like what I, what I was talking about, the um, the uh, Gillens or whatever, who's between the commoners and the, uh, the um, whatever, the lessers or whatever. If they fight against the nobles and they wipe out the nobles, most of the demons are still left. But like they said, the nobles control the food. So once that's once the nobles are wiped out or or hurt significantly enough, they can go up and finish finish the nobles off or whatever, and now the common folks won't get this steady supply of humans. That's what's going to knock them out the box, and once they're weakened, then they might go after them or whatever. With the administration. The social system and the farms all destroyed. The demons will revert to the wild and could be exterminated. Because the demons need a supply of human meat to preserve the shape and intelligence, that must be Norman's plan in very simplified terms. Exactly. We got him. Norman. Did you know that some demons aren't like that? Oh! As soon as I heard that first sentence, as soon as I read that first sentence, I know everybody said, that, oh my God. <laughs> did you know that some, Norman, did you know, this is her voice. Norman, did you know, and she did do that. She, every, every, every time, every, every so often she did that. Norman, did you know that some demons aren't like that? You knew that? Did you know? That's what she just did. There are some who won't devolve, even if they don't eat human meat. Oh, shit. Look, I seen that, and then Norman went, boom. I seen his eyes get wide as hell, right? Now, I know what Norman's thinking. Norman is, Emma's saying, hey, you know there's some demons that 
they can stick they can stick around because they don't need no human meat. You know that. Did you know that? That's what Emma's trying to say. And Norman's looking like, oh shit. If there's demons that don't need human meat, they can still kill us all. Like there's gonna be a certain group that won't evolve and come after us. He's gonna be like, oh shit, I gotta add that to my plan. That's what Norman's thinking. I guarantee it. We think those demons don't absorb traits from what they eat at all. Norman's like, what the? F yeah, and suppose there are a lot of those and they still want to eat humans. That's what Ray brought up. He said they don't need to eat humans, but would they still want to? It would threaten the very basis of your plan. That too. He's like, yo, you think that you, uh, wiping out the nobles is going to wipe out all those demons. But some demons won't get wiped out. Some of them don't need humans. You know what? If you think about it like this, the demons that, that like musical or whatever, that don't need to eat humans, right? If you think about it like this, what if they just need to, like, for instance, humans eat, meat and we can maintain our forms we don't need to eat humans in order to be like humans so what if the deem some demons develop a trait that allows them to eat other things and maintain their regular forms like we do so for instance everything that humans have other other creatures have to some capacity so other creatures have a brain or something like that so it might need to, they're, they're, whatever system, whatever, might need to readjust to make whatever they eat uh, um, regenerate whatever they have. But what if they could just do that? Like, uh, let's say they get to eat, eat, eat like, let's say a monkey or something like that. It has hands like humans. You know what I mean? It's not exactly like humans, but enough for them to maintain their human-like hands or whatever. I guess. Something like that. That's why we thought it would be better to discuss it with you. And also, Emma's all like, yay. And I want to tell you how we're going to let um, some people survive. But I know Emma, look, she's looking at Norman. Norman's like, I'm telling you. She stopped because she's seen how Norman's like, what the fuck? Norman's like, that throw, that throw a monkey wrench in his plan. He's like, damn. Norman is pissed, like, damn, how we gonna wipe these motherfuckers out? Now, Ray looking like, I kind of expected this a little bit. How? How do you two know about that? He's gonna say, I need, I need some clarification. Huh? What you just said? Where did you hear it? Be like, I didn't hear it. We seen them. You saw them? You met them. Yo, he knows about them? Your group has actually met her? Whoa! So there was a demon that... Yo, Norman already knew about him. Impossible. It can't be. Or maybe it's a legend. So her clan is still alive. The girl with cursed blood is still alive. Musica! Oh, my... Her clan... So he knew about it. The truth about Musica revealed... Cursed blood? What do they mean by cursed blood? He hurt... Met, I don't think he met her. I don't think he met her, but... He must have... It's Musica. They didn't say Sung Ju. He's part of the clan, though. What the fuck? Yo! That surprised the fuck out of me. So Norman knows something he didn't tell them. Oh, man. I'm on the edge of my seat for the next chapter. It's a good thing I read this thing super fucking late because the next chapter is coming out tomorrow. Oh, man. I got to see that. Damn. This was a good chapter. Oh, man. I couldn't believe it. Norman was actually keeping something away from them. Something that was actually good. Um... They said cursed blood, so he knows some shit. Um, but her clan, how how um how big is her clan? It might not be it might only be a few people. We don't know. Musica. 
She seems to be closer to human form than a lot of the other demons. You know what I mean? So, um, but they said cursed blood. They might be nomadic. Well, music is nomadic. See, she's running around with Sung Ju doing, you know, bullshitting. So, they might not be allowed in certain, uh, uh, demon societies and, 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 and um, they might not be allowed to, because they said cursed. They might not be allowed to mingle with other demons like that. The demons might not like the fact that they might have turned their back on demons at some point in time to let humans, you know, run free or something like that. I don't know what the backstory is, but I'm damn sure looking forward to it. But great chapter. Also, Norma didn't, I mean, not Norman, uh, Emma didn't get her point out about, I want to leave these people alive. Norman looks kind of concerned about that. You know what I mean? So we waiting to see what Emma finished. We waiting to see Emma finish saying what she was going to say. And what Norman was getting ready to say. Great chapter. Great fucking chapter. Go ahead leave your comments like the video and subscribe. Because I can't eat. I'm broke nigga. I'm broke. And you got the power to change that. Check the links in the description box. Peace.